<laughs> Hello again, my dark kitties. Today, um, for our, my vlogoween, I'm going to show you a really nice coloring book that you can color for Halloween. book it's called dark whimsical coloring book and I'm pretty proud of it because I'm the one who actually made it so there's a lot of Halloween stuff in here and we're gonna take a look through it and I hope you like coloring books and stick around and check it out so here is the cover which is kind of Alice in Wonderland um, ish inspired you could say and we got the cover page on the inside, a um, death head moth, and this paper is not ideal, so you only want to use dry medium on it. Hopefully at some point I'll move to Ingram and we'll be able to get better, thicker papers. And each page just has like the title of the work across so that if you do use a medium that goes through, it's not that big a deal. It's just the title for this on the other side. So all of them are like that. And that way also, if you wanted to cut it out and frame it, because you do a really good job on coloring it, you can do that. And this one's cats in a cup. So there's a lot of cats in here because I love cats. There are five pieces in here that are inspired by famous artists. This one, if you can guess, I'm not gonna tell you, you have to guess. And some are whimsical, some are darker. This one is just hurts your eyes. That's why I called it that. Medusa. We got the mon the sad monster. This one is just something to occupy your time and make optical illusions with if they if you color it right. These are supposed to be eyeballs, so if you color them as eyeballs. Another famous artist. And if you'll notice, all the pieces that are um, inspired by famous artists um, have cats in them. This one, for some reason, is really popular. And so is this one, my scary toys. And I called that one Wednesday's Toy Room. Mermaid getting ready for lunch. The Slender Man. Another famous artist that probably looks familiar. And that one as well. Some I made simpler, so if you just want to color something quickly, like in an hour or something. So not all of them are super difficult. And then some are super difficult and are going to take a long time. And then there are some pages that are Halloween themes because I love Halloween. And some are just weird. <laughs> just pictures from my head. The eyeball tree. I also have it on, this is the Amazon version, I also have it on Lulu and it comes with a, like the spiral binding. Here's a nice one for Halloween. I might record 
myself coloring this one through the coloring techniques that I use. And there's the cat from the cover. The Mothman. Something a little more whimsical and Alice in Wonderland oriented. The skull. Something a little more whimsical. Another famous artist, if you can guess who that is. And that's the end. And these are all the kitties that I love. This is me with my two kitties and my husband. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look inside my coloring book, the Dark Whimsical Art Coloring Book. And maybe you'll pick up a copy from Amazon or Lulu if you want to go to Lulu. And um, I actually this created this, didn't intend to create a coloring book at all. I was just bored at work. Started drawing all these pictures and some of, some of them were kind of cool. And so I was like, you know what? Coloring books are really popular. Maybe I should just turn them into a coloring book. So it took me about two years. Every time I was bored at work and it was slow, I would draw pictures since I can't do anything else. And eventually the coloring book was born. And I'm really proud of it and I think it's really good. And you can let me know what you think and maybe you can help me come up with a theme for the next one. I was thinking about doing a Japanese mythology and monsters. I think that would be fun. But if you enjoyed this, pick up a copy of the coloring book or just like the video and subscribe. Hope you like coloring books and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe because I'll be making more Halloween videos. And um, now I'm going to go eat some pizza. See you later. Bye-bye.